Hey guys, it's Rich Boy J here, back again with another video, and today we finally have leaks for the new Harry Potter Hogwarts set. I want to include pictures of the set in this video just because LEGO hasn't even revealed that the set is going to exist yet, so I'd rather avoid a copyright strike there. But if you do want to see the pictures, they're in the usual places, they're not that hard to find. Now, I don't know too much about Harry Potter, nor will I profess to, so I'm going to not have very much insight to give you on my opinions on the set, other than some general things that I can notice as someone who just appreciates LEGO sets. This set is going to clock in at 6,020 pieces, which I believe will make it the second largest LEGO set ever produced, right behind the most recent UCS Falcon. Now the thing that I've noticed um, pretty much instantly is that it's a very beautiful build, like the design techniques, it just it's very aesthetically pleasing. However, there's one thing that I find kind of troubling. The fact that they elected to go with kind of a nano figure scale throughout the entirety of the build is... Um, I don't know, it's a little concerning to me. I think about myself as a Star Wars fan, and if they did a big kind of planet like this, like imagine if they did a Death Star like this, and rather than having like mini fig scales things inside of the rooms, they just elected to make it all nano figure scale. I think I'd be kind of disappointed and I probably wouldn't buy the set, but you guys as Harry Potter fans, so how does this make you feel? Is this cooler for you guys because you get to see a full recreation of the entire scene? Or would you two prefer if the castle was built at, you know, at least somewhat of a minifig scale? Obviously, like, the rooms aren't going to be perfect because it's reduced to being uh, a relatively small Lego set. But um, how would you guys feel if it were not built this way, if it was instead minifig scale? Would that be preferable or is this totally fine for you guys? The cool thing about it, I guess, is it does give you the opportunity to be able to have a full collection of nano figures, which is certainly something you can't say for the Star Wars line. But um, I feel as a fan of Lego, um, this isn't something that I would expect from a set so big. But guys, let me know what you think about it. Um, this is not to say that there aren't any minifigures. They clearly give you four minifigures that are normal size minifigures, so that's obviously desirable. But the fact that the entire thing is built at kind of a nano figure scale, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that. But let me know. I may be overreacting to this. You guys may be totally fine with this as Harry Potter fans. And if so, then um, I guess there's really no issue to be complained about. But yeah, that's all I really got to say about the set guys like i said i'm not really a harry potter fan but this is obviously something that people have been looking forward to for a very long time and we finally have our first official look at it and with that being said will you guys be buying this set and if you like what i do guys go ahead